Hey, it's James. And Steph. And we're at Gunlock State Park in Southern Utah, and we've got a quick workout with just four exercises you can do at a picnic table. All right, so we're starting with the plank mule kick into a crossback lunge, sprinter starts, and some squat thrusts. And here we go. Well, unless you're Steph, in which case first you muscle around <laughs> the park furniture to get it like you like. Had to get it stable. All right, the plank mule kick. What's this one, Steph? All right, we're working our core on this one because you're gonna round your spine and you're gonna bring your knee in and then you're squeezing your glute and you're extending your leg out behind you. Or, or you can have your partner squeeze your glutes. Unless he's running the video camera. Yeah. He's not gonna be able to do that. Um, five, so six. notice my head, notice my head. It's coming down on uh, every time my knee comes in and then lift your head up each time you extend your leg back. Five or six each on leg. each leg. Yeah. Okay. And do that three times through. All right. Crossback lunge. Well, she wanted to call this a curtsy lunge, and I told her that I would absolutely refuse to do it. Well, what does it look like? Um, look at that. So you're crossing your leg back behind the other leg. Make sure you're pushing through your heel on the front leg, the leg that's planted. Extending your leg out to the side, holding onto the picnic table for balance. Core is tight. Back is straight. Um, this looks like an advanced part here. Yes. Now, this is a great balance challenge doing this lunge, not holding on at all. So you're flowing through it nice and smooth, lifting that leg out to the side. Nice way to practice that good coordination. All right. Sprinter starts. I like these. I've always liked sprinter starts. I was starts. excited when you said you were going to do these, but then we didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Well, it's basically a lunge back. You're holding on with a hand of the leg that's lunging back. And then you're reaching the opposite arm up to the sky. So it's a full body movement. I, I like this because it's working your coordination. Everything is working together to do this exercise. So this is a modified sprinter start. This is a low impact. So you, you have another version for overachievers. Yes. And we're going to go into that other version right now. There it is. So this is high impact. You're actually jumping on one leg. Not an exercise for beginners, but a good challenge for those of you. There's a good challenge there because there are quite a few rocks and things. I don't know if you can see. It was, wasn't exactly flat, level ground, so Steph's working to balance. There. My balance was definitely challenged on these. Squat thrusts, very traditional. Well, but this is a modified version of it, not so traditional. So you're reaching up to the sky, and then you're walking back, walking in, and reaching up. Notice how I'm going back only on my left foot each time. So you're going to start doing these on your left foot five or six times, then do that again on your right foot. Holding your core tight, back straight, all those good things, good there form. You, there you go, the there you're switching legs. Yeah. Yep, on my right foot now. All right. Um, now... Uh, it, Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say there is an advanced version of these too, and so we need to make sure we show the advanced version of this. Okay. I think that's coming up. All right. And there it is. It's basically a jump, hands down, jump back, jump in, and up. So, again, this is very high impact, only for advanced exercisers. And, I mean, if you do these in a gym, right, people go all the way down the floor, right? Yeah, you can put your hands on the ground. That's it, our four exercises. All right, bye everyone.